To display the movies on our page, it will be best if we create a component. So if we head over back to our movie underscore directory dot module file, um, you'll see that I've already created a movie dash card um, component, and I've also created a corresponding movie dash card dot html dot twig file as well. Now this file will be empty for the time being. We'll come back to it later. But to make sure that Drupal knows that this does exist, we will have to clear caches. So if you head over down to our terminal and then rush drush CR, CR stands for cache rebuild, let that finish. Good. Once that's finished, let's hold head over to our um, movie listing class and let's create a new class. Sorry, not a new class, a new method. And let's name it um, create movie card. So public function create movie card. Card. There we go. So the first thing we want to do is create an empty array. Um, let's name it movie cards, and we will then populate this array later on in our method, and then return movie cards. So initially, the first thing we need to do is actually loop over a list of movies. And if you remember in the previous video, we have this method here, which um, supplies us with a list of potentially all the movies within that um, API so we're gonna create a new variable name it movies and that's gonna be equal to this movies sorry list yeah list movies and we want to make sure that if movies is not empty let's loop over all of it so for each movies as movie we want to store particular things about this movie. So for now, I would say let's store the, um, well, let's create the variable first. And then let's store perhaps the title, oops, title of the movie. And as of now, we don't actually know what that might, might be. Well, we do, because we saw it in the previous video. So if I do, oops, if I do movie title, that should be fine. But we need to know um, a bunch of other things as well. So I'm going to create a dummy variable here for now. This will just allow me to set um, create a breakpoint. And what we're gonna actually do is if we scroll up to our render method, so the reason why this is called our render method here is because we have told our routing method that view should be the method that is called anytime we want to view the movie listing page. So if we head back to it, what we are going to do now is do content um, and then just name it movies. And this should be this create movie card. Now let's scroll back down and make sure that we have our debug set up. So a breakpoint set for our debugger. Um, I can see it's listening. So we're going to head over to our browser and try to refresh this page. And hopefully our debugger should kick in. it may take a while because it's, it's a hefty database. Good. All right. So now we have something to work with. So as you see, this is a movie variable that we want to work with here and we can see that here. So we want to get, um, let's get the description. So description, that would be movie. And let's look for anything here that looks remotely like a description. I think this would be here overview so yeah let's go with overview overview um let's also get the oops let's get the movie id so again this will be movie and then this is just as simple as id um let's also get the image so you'll notice that the image it's actually um different over here so we have a backdrop path and then we also have a poster path and I believe we will be using a poster path. However, you can see this is um, a relative path and not an absolute. So in the, um, the movie API database, sorry, the movie database API, there is actually um, a way to generate images. So we have to pass in the name of the file to a particular URL. So what we are going to do is create a helper method within our um, movie API connector that will then allow us to um, easily generate um, an image path. 
so for now let's call it do, 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 do. let's go get image url so public function get image url and it accepts one parameter which will be image uh, let's do image path for now i think that'll be a bit clearer and we need to return a string so remember in the um, documentation we have to return this entire string so let's copy all of this for now head back to your um, code editor and then paste it here um, so now as you can see this looks very similar to this the poster path so what we want to do is actually replace this with image path so that this is always dyna dynamic and not static so let's copy that and let's get rid of this and as you can see it also has a um, uh, a beginning it begins with a slash so we don't need to have a slash here but what we are going to do is concatenate image path so image path good so now what we want to do is um, be able to utilize this method here um, within our sorry within our movie listing so in order to actually call um, the movie API connector we need to create a, another variable um, and we're gonna call it do movie API connector service. It's fairly long, but it will be easy to debug in the future if you ever have to come back to this. So service, and I cannot remember what the service name is. So if you head back to your services file, this is in here. So we're gonna copy this. So movie, let me make this a bit bigger for you to see. So movie underscore directory dot API connector. Head back to the movie listing and paste that there and for those of you that use php storm i just like to add this little um, definition of the variable above it so it allows me to easily auto complete so it's movie api connector so now heading back to our image section we're now now going to do movie api connector service and if you remember we called it get image url so that's get image url and then we are then going to pass it the poster path so that would be movie um, post uh, path so now that we've created a fairly small component what we're now going to do is actually pass this entire content variable into our template that we created earlier on our movie card template so in order to do that we would then create um, a new variable let's call it uh, sorry not a new variable we're actually going to populate movie cards. If you remember, I said earlier that we're going to be populating this uh, movie cards variable and then returning that. So what we are going to do is movie cards and we are adding a new one. Rather than overriding, we are going to add a new one. And then what we're going to do is actually pass a theme. So we're going to pass theme, oops, sorry. Hashtag, if I can find it, there we go, theme and that should be movie card the reason why this should be movie card is because that's what we named it in our direct sorry in our hook theme earlier on so movie card this has to be the same thing in our movie listing method here so not movie listing sorry create movie card method and what we're then going to pass is our content so again if you remember we had our content variable if we come back here we're then going to pass content So um, we can stop this debugger now. Let's close that and let's get rid of this. Um, so as you see, we'll loop over all the movies that we get and then we are now going to return it. So let me just tidy up a little bit and let's, ret oops. let's return movie cards. Return movie cards. Now in our movie card um, .html .twig file, we want to start displaying some of the content not some all the content that we gathered here so what we're going to do is um, let's create a div give it a class um, let's call it movie card wrapper and then let's start displaying some content so we want to display content dot image we also want to display the title of the movie and then also the description however with the description we could have some movies that may have longer description than others 
so we're actually going to ensure we only display the first 150 characters of this description so in order to do that you type sorry let me make this a bit bigger you type slice and then you start from zero and then you want to go all the way up to 50 sorry 150 and we want to also concatenate this with an ellipsis so you do this with a tilde give it a space and then just do your dot 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 and that's it but we also want to do a bit of styling so let's wrap each of these things with a div div um, class let's call this movie card underscore oops underscore image um, and if you remember this is this content dot image is actually the image path so we're gonna do image source and let image source be equal to content on image um, for accessibility also what we want to do is also provide an alt alternative text and then let that equal the title of the movie as well so again content dot title and we are gonna close oops yeah we're gonna close that and then we're gonna also close our div and similar again for oh so a class wrong here similar again for our um, title so I'm gonna cheat a bit I'm gonna copy and paste here Oops, and then get rid of the image and replace that with title and again I'm gonna close the div and then lastly yep you guessed it copy paste and let's call this description and again close that so I believe we're done with our movie card component for now so now if we head back to our movie listing class you'll see that we've um, passed in movies right and we're also utilizing the movie listing templates so if we open up our movie listing template you'll see content.name which was earlier on displaying my name is Ben so we're going to do the exact same thing for movies however movies is actually an array so what we're going to do is actually loop through the movies um, so let me get rid of this this was just to show you how to display content from a class and we're going to create a new div give it a class let's call it a movie listing for now and we want to make sure that we are only looping over movies if it exists or if it's not empty so this will be if content dot movies is not empty then do a bunch of things so let's also end that if just so we don't forget I prefer ending before continuing to something else or else I tend to just forget and have lots of errors um, we want to loop over so oops, we want to loop over the movies yeah. so for movie in content.movies we just want to render movies but before that again let's end our for loop and within here we render movie and the reason why it will be as simple as this is because if you recall we are actually passing a renderable array so we're telling Drupal that anytime we are sorry anytime we are rend um, lo looping over this what I want you to do is render me this with this content so now if we head back to our browser we should see a few things um, not this page let's come here and refresh one more time again it may take a while because it's quite a heavy database that we're querying so as you can see we're getting our movies so we've got our image we've got our title we've got a brief description and we're ending it with our ellipses so I think we're off to a good start here um, so what I'm gonna I'm gonna stop the video now and then show you how to style this up a bit better later on